A lot of shops use G28 to send their Z home on their machines, but most shops don't use G28 to move the X or the Y position on the Herco, probably because it moves that table to the back right corner on the machine, and it's not very helpful for your machinists. Now on the Herco control, we can change the G28 parameter on each individual machine in your shop to fit your specific application or the machinist's needs. So to demonstrate this, let's see how this works on the default setup on your Herco mill. Now, as you can see, the table went to its default home or reference position in that back right corner of the machine. So to change that reference position, we need to have a G-code program active and we must follow these steps. First, press the input key, then select program parameters, then NC parameters, and then click on NC configuration parameters. Now, once you're here, we'll be setting our X and Y reference points to our desired values. I want you to please note as well, the X and Y reference points automatically default to zero. And we ask that you leave the Z reference position at zero as well to avoid any accidental errors. Now for those spots for X and Y where it is zero, we can input any value that we want. In this instance, we want to enter a location that is about half of our X travel, and we want a max Y travel so that it comes closer to our machinists or to the front of the machine. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit the start cycle button, and we'll take a look and see how this looks now on our machine. So this can be a helpful option if you need to load or unload parts quickly, or maybe you have a pallet change location for automation that you need to use. Another thing I want you to pay attention to, if you look at your control and it says NC run monitor, look at the code for the reference position labeled G91, G28, X0, and Y0. Now I want you to remember these values will appear the same whether you have a default location in the control or you have your own custom reference points for X and Y. So make sure to double check those so you don't run into any issues. Well, that's all I have for you today, guys. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And if you have any questions or you'd like to see a specific topic covered in another video, leave a comment below. And if you're new to our channel, remember to subscribe to our channel, click that like button and hit that notification bell. Have a good one.